Hey guys, Eric the Travel Guy with you and all I do is travel and make a television series and I do it all for you, which is why today this is huge news coming out of the cruise industry. Finally, the Centers for Disease Control, the CDC, has given a signal to the cruise industry that they may be sailing in and out of U.S. ports as early as July of 2021. Now, why is this such huge news? Well, first of all, the industry itself has been struggling because they have been waiting for this news because the United States uh, contains the most number of people who cruise worldwide. The Caribbean is the most popular cruise destination in the entire world. And so if you think about the state of Florida alone with those cruise ports, but don't forget places like Galveston, Texas, uh, New Orleans, Long Beach, Hawaii, Alaska, these are all U.S. cruise ports and many others, I might add, New York, Seattle, uh, Boston, uh, Baltimore. So there's all these ports that are just waiting for their ships to be able to leave and come back from those ports. And all these people in the United States who want to take a vacation and love to cruise, but can't. Well, the CDC is saying, well, you may be able to. Now, I'm not going to bore you with all of the compliance issues because most of this is on the cruise lines themselves. And they've been working on this, by the way, almost 24 seven for the past year. So it's not like they're just getting this news today. So they've been working on their compliance issues. What I think is really important for you to consider is whether or not now is the time to book your next cruise. My answer is yes. And the reason it is because it's supply and demand. With this new information, this will get more attention from potential cruisers. It'll also get attention from uh, the established cruise community and those bookings will increase starting today. So I would get online and start looking around at the three major cruise companies in the world. That would be Carnival, my personal favorite, uh, Royal Caribbean and Norwegian. There are others, of course, small ship cruise companies uh, come to mind like UnCruise. Nevertheless, I need you to start getting that research underway because I want you to make that booking as soon as humanly possible. And the only thing that this CDC guidance is saying today that's really relevant to you is ships will be able to sail in and out of U.S. ports provided 98% of their crew is vaccinated, fully vaccinated, I might add and 95% of the passengers are fully vaccinated. Now, I'm not quite sure, of course, where they got the 95 or 98%. My guess is it has something to do with children on board, but nevertheless, we will see more information about how the cruise lines are going to comply uh, with this guidance. But again, should you book? Yes. Should you book now? Yes. If you're interested in cruising, now is the time. You can book directly with the cruise companies themselves, either online or over the telephone, or I suggest you get a qualified travel advisor to help you. If you don't have one, I have a couple. Uh, Cruise One comes to mind. Cruises Inc. comes to mind. My new BFF, Sarah, down in Orlando at uh, Cruise Planners. So you could uh, reach out to her. Again, message me. I'll give you her information as well. Get the information and then book as soon as humanly possible. And look forward to your next cruise getaway. I'm Eric the Travel Guy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon.